you probably have some questions for me, and that's all right. One or two. You'd like yeah, a thousand. Maybe. Okay. Yeah. Maybe more. I mean, if it's your son, that's really sad, not. No, no, I know, I know. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for surprising you all back there, and I'm sorry that I didn't well. tell you more before. Are you okay? I don't know, but I, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'll, I feel like I don't think any of us need to pretend that we all don't have some secrets, and we've all been keeping some secrets from each other, and sometimes I feel like even maybe the thing that brought us together is that we're sort of bonded by dishonesty a Not little me. bit. No secrets, open book. I'm pretty, I'm pretty open too. I hear you. Well. For some of us, anyway. For me, anyway. I've been holding on to some secrets. Just, you know, I feel like it's almost like putting up an armor or something to protect, to protect you from the past or from regrets or something. And but I feel like for some of us, it could also be like a, like a chain sort of weighing us down and keeping us from moving forward, and maybe it's time now to sort of remove that chain and, and, and be open and honest so that we can move ahead. So yes, I'll, I'll, t I'll tell you what you want to know. What do you want to know? Just... Um, is... Are you a goblin? Is that your son for real? Okay. Well, hi. I'm. My name's not the Brave, and I am a little goblin girl. Okay. But once upon a time, I was Beth, a young halfling woman, and. Before that, a, a halfling child who grew up um, being told, being told that she was not pretty and not not brave and not coordinated and not smart and just not, and then. Uh, you know, time went by and I got a little bit older and I was made fun of quite a bit. I, I had this, um, people thought I was strange because I collected things. I had lots of collections. They were really outstanding. I collected wax seals and pieces of paper, colored paper, and, um, and some buttons and fabric. Collected wax seals. Oh, all kinds, yeah. Do you still have those? I don't, I'm afraid not. It's kind of cool, actually. Well, they didn't think so. I had brothers and people in town who would just ridicule, ridicule me and... That was here? Yes, I lived here. And then they were, one day I um, was playing a game with some some other boys, and they, they dared one of their friends to give me a kiss. Spin the bottle. And I, the boy was very nice, and he actually seemed to like it. And he and I became friendly, and um, eventually we did what people do and got married. Oh, that's not, I went somewhere else. Yeah, married, yeah. And uh, he didn't mind my strangeness, and I helped him get his apothecary up and running. He was a brilliant chemist and could make acids and, and potions, and 
have oils and uh, bleaches for fabrics and dyes and all sorts of things, and I helped him, and he took care of me, and eventually we, we had a baby named Luke, and he was a bright boy, very smart. He learned to talk very early and walk very early. Such a smart boy. And, and that's who you saw back there, is my son. So, was he right? Did you die? I think so. I think so. Uh, we had a rough winter in Felderwind. Uh, there was not a lot of crops, and uh, I think some of the animals had, had, had died that winter. And this river I've brought you to, this, this sort of, it's a beautiful place. I used to come here with Yeza, and it's also an important place because this is the, the goblins would come from over there and they would come and raid us from the other side of the river. And I think after that winter, they got particularly hungry and more dangerous and more daring. And they, they came into town and, and raided more and more until one day they, well, they took us, they took me and my husband and my yeah. child and they held us in one of their camps. And I don't know, it was days or weeks, I'm not sure, but Luke was not doing well. He was, he was starting to starve. And I knew that we needed to, to get out of there somehow. Yeza is a very bright man, but he's not a fighter. So I had to do what I had to do. We ran, we ran in the dead of night and they weren't fast. I, I've been chased a lot in my life by boys making fun of me and I'm pretty fast. So I told them to run, run to the river and I, I broke off and I ran a different way and the goblins followed me. And when they found me, they surrounded me and I, I fought. I, I had a vial of acid that Yeza had handed me and I threw it in the face of the one trying to catch us. They didn't like that. They, they took me back to their camp and I think he died from his wounds. And he was a, something like their leader. And he had a wife. And she brought me to an, another woman in a hood, a magic woman. I, I don't know who she was. I never saw her eyes or anything. But this goblin told the woman, make her suffer. And they did. They brought me to this river. And they drowned me in it. I can still feel the water in my lungs and my ears and my, my nose. And then nothing. until I woke up and saw the hands, those hands, the, the skin. And I looked in a puddle and I, I could see what they made me. They made me, they made me everything that I thought I was. Not pretty.
Not good. Just not. I'll be honest, I've started forgetting what it's like to be, to be a halfling, to be me. I, I don't remember everything anymore. I feel like every day I'm, it's just more, I'm more and more goblin. I don't like it at all. I don't like myself at all. And I'm sorry I didn't tell you. I'm sorry I lied. And, and I'm sorry, Caleb, that I didn't tell you. I should have told you. You would have understood. And maybe you could have helped me. I don't know. I feel like you're almost there, though. Almost, almost strong enough to help. I just didn't want to distract you from your path. Anyway, that's, that's how I got to you. And that's why I can't be in that town and, and he can't see me like this. My, my son can't see me like this. He, no one there can. Does, uh, does your husband know? Or does he not know? I've sent him things. We can we can do something about this, but we're going to have to. You're going to have to trust us, and you're going to have to be careful. Because if we move too quickly, well, we're just going to go run in the wrong direction and alone. <clears throat> and you need help. 